Hi everyone, welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, I want to thank you and welcome you back to RK Treasure Center. In this video, we're going to talk about thrift items that Kim and I went and picked up while we were out sourcing. Primarily what's in this green bag and a few items that's on this table that I've already pulled out of that bag. But it's actually, a, this video is a two-parter, so if you haven't seen the first part, the first video came out yesterday and it was called, I'm not an alien, I'm a reseller. <laughs> Good title. Let's talk about the items and hopefully you'll see some items that you wouldn't have picked up if you were outsourcing. Stay tuned and let's just jump right into the video, right? It's got a bunch of little things in it. All right. So we picked this up, Kim, Kim got this, she said she liked it, she told me to pick it up, sell it, so I did. So I paid $1.99 for this, and it's a, I don't have my glasses on, hold on a second. I'm getting old. This is from Dockyard Glassworks, made in Bermuda. Real pretty piece of art glass. I just thought that was really special. Clean all the way around, no nicks or breaks or chips. Um, I did see a couple of art glass works from the same company in Bermuda, and they were selling for about $25. So that's what we're going to list this one at. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this was another uh, wine bottle stopper. Paid $2.99 just for this one. But it is a pretty one really nice it's got its original box well i looked them i looked it up and this one retail was selling for 19.99 i'm not going to get 19.99 for it but i'll probably ask maybe uh, 12 to 14 dollars just for this one um it's made by bordeaux wine bottle stopper company picked up some patriot golf balls not worth a whole lot um uh, paid a dollar for it and i should be able to get uh $7.99, but my son-in-law likes New England Patriots. Not a golfer, but he likes New England Patriots. It's got little decorations all over, so I just might send them to him. If I don't sell it, I'll send it to him. If I don't send it to him, I'll list it and sell it. Ah, real happy to find these. A $2.99 for these ladies' leather gloves. You know what they are? Brand new pair of Burberry. That's right, brand new pair of Burberry gloves. Let me see. Burberry was really happy to find these gloves. These are size medium and they're ladies. So I'm probably going to only get about $40 for them. Uh, I wish they were men's and larger. I'd probably get a lot more. What I remember about these I've, is uh, I could look, did a quick little glance. They had a lot of them listed higher, but they weren't selling. But it seemed like the $40 range was selling pretty good. Uh, I saw a couple sell for maybe a little bit more. saw a couple sell for a little bit less. But I think $40 is a good good price to ask for these Burberry leather gloves. So I got these box of fondue forks. Not something I would pick up. $3.99. Normally I walk right by a fondue fork. Even a set wouldn't pick them up. It has the name Herbo. And I can see the writing on there. And it's uh, These are Switzerland. And actually, these, the wood is made in ebony. I did look it up. It's ebony and stainless steel. And these will sell for about $19.99. So it was worth picking up. And a real lightweight, easy shipping. All right, so I picked up these springs. They're springs that go on the end of barbells for weights. Uh, the Cap Company is the one that makes these. The label's over the description of it. There you go. As you can see the picture of it right there. And the springs go over on the end of the barbells so the weights don't come off. These are $1.99. And I'll be honest, I probably walked by these other places and never thought much of them. I wish I hadn't. I wish I had picked them up. I said pay $1.99 for these. And they sell, I don't know if you can see it on the phone right there, but they sell for $14 easy. And they're selling all day long. So I was, I was really happy to <laughs> pick those up. And like I said, I think I've seen these and walked right past them before. And then, so I figured $1.99, 
They don't weigh anything. They're going to go out at, what, three? Three ounces? Four ounces? After fees and everything and shipping? I'm going to make seven, eight dollars off these easy. Couldn't believe it. So there's an old saying in the art world, if uh, you know a lot about art, the uglier sometimes or usually is the better. Well, I saw this little vase and it's just a little tiny vase, probably two and a half inches tall. Uh, can't even, I'm sure you want to call it a vase, but that's what it is, a little tiny cup vase. And it looks like it was handmade in the pottery industry that really doesn't know what they're doing. And then they handed it to their two-year-old to paint. To me, you know, that's what it looks like. But actually, this little, this little cup vase was made by the Michael Kennedy Company out of Ireland. And right here is a little label. And on the bottom, it has a Kennedy stamp. And this little vase right here will sell for $25 easily. Believe it or not, if you can get a bigger ones, I'm talking bigger ones like this, candy vases, you'll see them selling for $150, $200. They're modern. They're not old and vintage, uh, but they are a good seller. It's a popular little vase. It's really well known as an Ireland maker. And like I said, that little thing right there looks like it was handmade and painted by a two-year-old but i get 25 dollars for that and easy i'm just ready to sell it so i saw this little vase and i've seen old vintage what am i say like call them like uh color leaded vases where like you have leaded crystal but the other color ones are have like an oxidation on them that creates like this lead look because of what's on them those are very rare and I've only seen a few. Well, I saw this little tiny uh, bud vase and thought it had the same thing. And hopefully you can see it with the light reflecting, but there's almost like a silverish tone to it. And it still didn't look right. It had that pewter kind of look, but it's glass. So I said, uh, I grabbed it and thought, looked at it and realized when I looked at it, it's uh, made by Vicky and it's an artesian glass company i believe comes out of peru to be honest with you well any three way the reason this has that look is this one has been embedded or mixed with with the glass and has been mixed with the silver sterling silver so it created that sterling silver kind of reflective look to it still looks like a regular bud vase but it has that nice silver look to it and it does have a label on there and it says it says sterling 925 artesian glass and i think this little bud vase would probably ought to fetch about 40 dollars. all right so i have this bag here and it was wrapped up real tight and so you could hardly see what was inside of it but i knew by the labels in there i knew what they were the weight i knew exactly what they were paid two dollars and 99 cents and i just now cut it open and looked to pull it out and what's in here is a set of drawer pulls. But these are kind of, they're modern, but they're act, antique looking drawer pulls. There's a set of 10 of them in here. And you go down to the hardware store and, and pick these up. You're going to pay anywhere from, let's uh, say, uh, $2.50 to $4.99 a piece for them. Some drawer pulls, they get real fancy. They're even more. Uh, I got a lot of 10 right here. I paid $2.99 for it. It's going to, with the weight and everything, I'll probably sell these for $19.99 plus shipping. And I'm going to sell them. They're going to make their money. All right, I put the drawer pulls back in a bag so that that way I wouldn't lose. There was two of them that were open. But that's all right. Don't be afraid to pass up on drawer pulls, especially if you find them and they look antique or modern, or they are antique or modern, and they have good design to them. They're going to sell especially older ones you can find some older ones that are bakelite or got glass and they're old vintage drawer pulls some of those will sell good money people will pay 15 20 dollars a piece for a drawer pull so keep an eye out for good vintage drawer pulls that are in good condition especially if you can find a set or a lot of them like i said these are modern but they're still going to get me 19.99 plus shipping all right so the last thing in that duffel bag is this nostalgia edition mystery date game and you can see right there actually has a marshall's 
it's kind of they tried to cover it up with a magic marker but i can see it in there it says sixteen dollars 99 cents but um look these up and i paid dollar 99 for them and these are going to sell for probably 15 19 dollars plus the shipping still sealed so the actual last item is the duffel bag itself um paid two dollars 99 cents for it and this is a pathfinder duffel bag it's just good quality pathfinder makes really good luggage material and bags so again it's another small one another one i might keep and hold on to myself i'm not sure i didn't look through it to make sure they didn't have any hidden money i don't see any <laughs> but anyway uh but still even if i turn around and sell this because it's got good solid brass uh hinges and nice zippers very durable this uh will probably still fetch uh i don't know i probably could still get uh just for this bag 24 dollars plus shipping not bad for a dollar 99 all right so i hope you saw some things in this video that maybe if you were saw at a garage sale or a thrift store that maybe you would pass up and Maybe you learned that you shouldn't. Depends on what you're looking to get for an item, what you're willing to sell. Also remember, if you're looking at, at art, like I said, well, kind of a rule of thumb is doesn't always have to be pretty. In the art world, sometimes uglier is better. So keep an eye out for stuff. It's always good to learn new ideas and new things, especially if you see Kennedy on the bottom. You know it's made in Ireland from Michael Kennedy, and it's a good product to sell. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody out there. So all the resellers go out there and source and find it, sell it, profit. Everyone else, take care, be safe, and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.